Managing Stock in ETP Store Operations Dispatch Order and Receive Order In Dispatch Order, we can create a Store to Warehouse or Store to Store Transfer Order to dispatch items from the current store to the warehouse or another store. A new transfer order can only be created in the preliminary status. We can add an item to the transfer order by scanning the barcode and updating the dispatch quantity. We can also upload a text file to add items scanned by a handheld scanner. Once a preliminary transfer order has been created, an authorized user, such as the store manager, can validate and approve the transfer order. In Receive Order, we can process a transfer order to receive items transferred from the warehouse or another store. We can receive an item by scanning the item number or updating the received quantity. We can also upload a text file to receive items scanned by a handheld scanner. If we are certain that all items are accounted for, we can just click on the Receive All button. Stock Issue and Stock Receipt In Stock Issue, we can adjust the inventory of the store in the system by subtracting items from the system manually. In Stock Receipt, we can adjust the inventory of the store in the system by adding new items to the system manually. Stock Take for every stock take at the store, we need to first generate a stock take number by using the stock take numbers generator function. Next, in Stock Zone Scanner Entry, we can assign one or more stock-taking persons and scanners to one or more stock zones in the store. Next, in Stock Take Upload, we can upload a text file to add items scanned by a handheld scanner. However, if a text file is not available, we can also add an item by scanning the item number and updating the quantity manually. After all the items have been added for a specific stock zone, we can export the list into an Excel file for reference. Lastly, in Stock Take Authorization, an authorized user can authorize the stock take after checking the variance and addressing it if there is any.
Franchisee Purchase Receipt and Franchisee Purchase Return Franchisee Purchase Receipt and Franchisee Purchase Return are functions designed specifically for the franchising business model, in which the franchisee has been provided with ETP Store applications as its point-of-sale system by the franchisor. In Franchisee Purchase Receipt, the franchisee can generate receipts for items purchased from the franchisor. In Franchisee Purchase Return, the franchisee can return items purchased from the franchisor. Buyback Local Purchase In Buyback Local Purchase, we can generate a receipt for items purchased from a customer or a local vendor. If we purchase items from a customer, the system will generate a credit note, which the customer can then use to buy any merchandise at the store. Purchase Order Receiving and Vendor Purchase Return In Purchase Order Receiving, we can receive items delivered by the vendor to the store based on a purchase order raised by the head office. We can receive an item by scanning the item number or updating the received quantity. We can also upload a text file to receive items scanned by a handheld scanner. If we are certain that all items are accounted for, we can just click on the Receive All button. In Vendor Purchase Return, we can return items purchased from the vendor. Location Transfer In Location Transfer, we can transfer items from one location to another location within the current store. Indent. In Indent, we can send an indent to the head office to request for any item to be transferred from the warehouse to the current store.